I don't talk about every blog post because often it's just a case of reading off a sheet, stating the obvious and letting people know what's in them. Occasionally, a blog post contains something really gameplay relevant that I feel is worthy of further discussion. Think adrenaline or loud modifiers, something that really changes the way the game is played. That said, this Friday's blog is about just a few skill changes to probably the most beloved and dare I say iconic, if you can call anything in Payday 3 iconic, skill combos in the entire game. In essence, this blog post walks us through a complete skill redesign for Ammo Funnel, turning it into just another reload focused skill and adding two Ammo Funnel light alternatives in Sharpshooter and Gunslinger, which completely fail to capture the essence of what was fun about the design in the first place. Oscar Wilde once said, it's always with the best intentions that the worst work is done, and this is a perfect example of this. Here we have Ammo Funnel, a skill that auto-loads bullets into your gun whenever you pick up ammo, and have Edge, a no-brainer of a skill for almost every loud build, especially when combined with Replenish, which allows you to add ammo to your gun from afar for every kill you pick up. It is totally overtuned and in need of some sort of balancing adjustment at some point. 100% agreed. However, when we take a step back and remember this is one of the most enjoyable skills to use in the entire game that is universally liked, one of the only real power fantasy enablers, and effectively one of the only active skills you'll even notice doing something for you, such as Payday 3's skill design philosophy, I am in disbelief regarding this change, especially given the timing. Let's be deathly serious here, this game has two major opportunities to save itself, rebuild its reputation and secure future development, the August and September updates. These changes will land in August and negatively impact the gameplay for every loud player. Regardless of how good the free heist is, regardless of how much fun we have on Houston Breakout, it's going to taint the experience and community sentiment because gameplay is king and runs throughout. I'm not being hyperbolic when I say there are people out there who will be planning to buy the next DLC or upgrade their edition who will think twice because a favoured playstyle of theirs has effectively been ripped out of the game. This change can only lose money for Starbreeze and Plyon as far as I can tell. Think about it, no more endless double barrel Moscone, no more dopamine spiking LMG spray downs. I've yet to see anyone complain about ammo funnel and replenish, yet I've seen dozens of skills described as useless or clunky and difficult to operate, but somehow the design team have decided to address ammo funnel by effectively just placing it into the same category of useless and clunky skills. Balancing this game traditionally just doesn't work, because the idea is you nerf this skill and players move over to other alternatives, changing up the wider gameplay loop. But we've already seen how that plays out. There aren't really any alternatives, there are very few skill combos in this game, and it lacks tangible playstyles to build around. A small minority in this community keeps telling me I'm wrong, and there's loads of mechanical depth in this skill system, like I haven't tried to find a use for just about every worthless little boost out there. I streamed three unique builds on Wednesday this week, and they're great, but all involve shooting yourself in the foot just slightly to try and conjure up a different experience, which is all moot in the end because the game's so bloody easy we don't even need skills to win. They're just a bit of flavour to spice up the experience, and this change is going to make things even more bland. As for the replacement skill, new ammo funnel states your reload speed increases by 1% for each shot that hits an enemy up to a maximum of 60%, with this bonus expiring once you've reloaded or swapped your weapon. Evidently, this is there to try and balance the LMG, which was just soft nerfed by this change. Faster reload is fine, I mean we have a skill in the game that already speeds up reloads a little, but sure, accuracy is rewarded and high mag capacity weapons get a nice bonus. I don't think the skill will be useless, outside of low capacity weapons, but it also isn't very interesting. More to the point, I also don't think it's going to move the meta like Starbreeze might think it should. As a staunch combat reload user who focuses more on replenish than ammo funnel anyway, reloading is no issue for me at all. It's just an opportunity to reset grit and edge, the two core buffs for most builds. If anything, this change might buff the lean meta builds as it'll speed up those buff resets. Looking at the shallow imitations of old ammo funnel that are being added also makes me sad. Sharpshooter is getting another node called Headhunter, which states as long as you have edge and are aiming down sights, headshot kills with primary or secondary weapons will restore one ammo to your weapons magazine. 
Sounds great, right? Just a high skill version of ammo funnel requiring headshots, until you see this ability has a 1.5 second cooldown. Once again, bloated into irrelevancy. For a skill system that's meant to be interchangeable between playstyles and weapons, I'm not sure how I feel about a skill that caters only to sniper rifles, of which we currently have one. What a waste of design space. That internal cooldown could be removed in an instant, and it still wouldn't be much good. Then you've got the Gunslinger node, locked and loaded, which states as long as you have edge, ammo pickups for your unequipped weapons are added directly to those weapon magazines. So, this one is a little simpler in that it serves a clear purpose, allowing to reload your non-equipped weapons passively, which I don't hate. It's still a hell of a lot less satisfying than being able to ammo funnel lead into SWAT so long as you don't miss, but at least I get it. Unfortunately, with our current arsenal of secondary weapons, not many people play Gunslinger as it was originally intended, that being a quick-firing, from-the-hip, weapon-switching playstyle. Instead, it's mostly used as a very convenient source of edge, and so whilst probably viable, I'm not sure many people will be looking for ways to bring their secondary into combat more often. Again, it fails to capture what people enjoyed and engaged with when it came to Ammo Funnel. I refuse to be a voice of pure negativity without any constructive feedback though. I've attested that this skill combo is too strong. Now, I don't think that's a major problem, with 28 skill points and Payday 3 being a non-PvP game after all, but if balance really is a concern, here's how I'd look to fix it. The problem, for my money, is that these skills are too accessible and universally useful. You can have one feature, but not both at the same time. If it stays accessible, it needs to be changed to only work with certain weapon types, like shotguns or LMGs, the sorts of weapons this was likely designed with in mind anyway. Alternatively, if you want to still work with everything, it has to require some sort of build sacrifice to make it less accessible. The effect could be spread across additional skills, or, and this is the kicker I've been fighting for for months, Ammo Funnel could just cost more skill points to pick up to balance its effect in line with other skills. I'd happily trade two skill points for what Ammo Funnel provides, but if it were to say cost three, I'd actually have to think about it. What other core skills might I lose in exchange, and how can I fit this into a build? Might I have to build around it to get more from the effect for it to be worthwhile? This is how build specialization works. It forces investment and helps develop actual player identities. It's not a bad thing. And most importantly, it would allow one of the most creative and fun skills in the game to still be used, not just a ripped out root and stem and replaced by a pair of hollow alternatives. No one goes around saying, I'm an ammo funnel player, because literally everybody is an ammo funnel player. But from now on, no one's going to go around identifying as an ammo funnel player because the skill is too bloody bland to identify with. It's a backwards step. Now, before I close off this video, I'm going to clear something up with regards to my role as a partner. We partners were informed these changes were in the pipeline several weeks ago. From everyone who vocalised an opinion, the unilateral consensus was that this change was not a great idea and was coming at completely the wrong time. We conceded that there's scope to change these sorts of skills and understood the thinking, but that it wasn't worth doing so right now. My main concern that this was just a risk not worth taking because the upside potential was so minor and the downside surprisingly great. These concerns were heard, but not deemed major enough to reconsider its addition to the update. I'm not sure what else we could have said to prevent this from happening. I'm actually not positive why we even consorted on it. It seems like a waste of everyone's time. That said, what I think is really important at this stage is that I take a step back here. If there wasn't a blog about this change, I actually intended not to share my opinions on it until you'd had the chance to make your thoughts clear in the comments. I don't want to bring any more vitriol to the discussion than I need to, but seeing as how they've dedicated an entire blog post to it, thought it might be worth wading in just in case this change can be reverted in time. That said, I still want to hear from you down in the comments regardless of whether you agree or disagree. This is important. Am I overreacting? Will this change mean very little for the future of Payday? Or is it another own goal for no apparent reason? Thanks for listening to another Noli Ramble. I'm still hoping DLC 3 is brilliant and we get our hands on it over the next couple of weeks. I just wish every update didn't seem to have a dark cloud hanging over it. Take care. I'm going to have to make some adjustments to my build video I was working on, I guess. So I'll see you there. 
A huge thank you to my dedicated Patreon backers. If you want to join this crew in Going Infamous, check out the link below and pledge as little as $2 to see your name in the credits, or get 24 hour early access to future videos and vote on upcoming content. Take care, I'll see you all soon.